which means, yes, they cut out Oni Lorcan and Timothy Oh, Thatcher. I thought you were going to say they cut out Eo and, and uh, Sasha. No, but I mean, I mean, I and I'm assuming that that was the best match on the show. But I was lo- really looking forward to seeing, obviously, Oni Lorcan and Timothy Thatcher. But they decided that Rhea and Dexter Loomis and Roderick Strong, the uh, the Rhea Robert Stone nonsense, and Dexter Loomis and Roderick Strong had to be on there. So unfortunately, I, I missed out on probably what the best wrestling match was. But as far as sports entertainment purposes go, I thought Io and Sasha. I thought that was actually pretty great, and I was worried about. How the finish could go? They how could they could go about doing the finish? And I thought they did a pretty good job with it. So I can't complain with that match really at all. There, uh, the rest of the show was what the rest of the show was. I was not as enamored with the women's match as you were on on AEW. I mean, Penelope Ford is got all the you know. Uh, potential in the world and she's obviously you know the gymnastics they keep bringing that up that's great the match was too long and they have had since day one and granted day one it was rio but they since day one they have not had a dominant women's champion performance i mean we've had a couple of good matches including naya and Sheeta, where Sheeta won the title but like she went out the next night and I think went like five minutes with Anna Jay. And now she's out there doing five minutes with or damn near 10 minutes with Penelope Ford. And I understand that these women need time in the ring. I get that. Absolutely. But to me, it's like they everybody is so equal in that women's division. Nobody stands out. Everybody is just to, to me. They're way too equal. And I don't know why there's so many women's matches actually on Dynamite. They really, to me, should limit a lot of these to heat more heat, to, to dark more, and save some performances for Sheeta. Again, she doesn't have to go. That match didn't have to go that long to feature Ford doing some cool stuff and to, for us to want to see a rematch maybe later on down the line. But I would like to see some champion, you know, some dominant performances by the champion. That, that would be nice every once in a while. But the you know the, the match itself, I mean, as far as the effort goes, was certainly there, and there have been far worse women's matches in AEW for sure. The opener, I thought, was probably arguably the best match on on the the, the entire show, uh, with MGF and Wardlow. Although that dynamic, I have not liked in that they seem to have teased since day one that those two are going to break up. I don't like how they keep that issue so on the forefront you know they did it again last night where uh he almost hit him uh, or, or wardlow almost hit mjf and you know can you do anything right and then mjf gets kicked into wardlow and they tease that so i, I again i i don't think they're good they're gonna rush it but they keep teasing it and to me it's way too blatant with the fact that they keep teasing it over and over again but again that would just be picking nits right there frankly you know other than that you know, the the main event, like you, I thought it was okay. I thought I was missing something a little bit. Somebody mentioned, I think it was uh, Barry Ladd, that, uh, you know, that van with uh, Mrs. Uh, with Mrs. Trent might be the, the coolest use of a, a vehicle in wrestling in quite some time. I thought that was a, a nice little touch there. I thought Jericho was amazing on commentary last night for sure. So, I mean, there again, there were some, some ups and downs. I Unfortunately, I have an incomplete view of NXT right now. But, you know, AEW, again, AEW was a good show and NXT was okay. It's just that I think throughout both shows, some of those matches after complaining on raw that they're all too short maybe maybe went a little bit too long i feel like we're watching two absolutely different aw women's divisions that match was i thought the second best match on the show i thought that match was better than the tag team title match in the main event and she has had good matches regularly and yes no, she has Rose, good matches but they're too long if you say so I thought that match was was. Perfect. I know they have to develop their entire women's division in front of everybody, but to to try to say, I mean, put that on the the spectrum of of where Io and Sasha Banks was. Yeah, Io and Sasha Banks was a better match, but it was also one of the better WWE women's matches I've seen in forever. So that's an awful high bar to try to aspire to, especially for Penelope Ford, who's like, I don't want to say she's she's green as grass, but she's definitely green. Wait and a second, she you're the one who always bitches about match. participation ribbons, and I'm not saying, I didn't say she didn't look great, I'm saying the match went on for a little bit too long, and again, we're watching, we have to see the development of a lot of these women wrestling on TV as it happens, and I'm just saying, I mean, I think, to me, you can utilize Dark a little bit more for that, and, and just, I think the champions should have some dominant performance once in a while, instead of always going 
at least five minutes with everybody, depending no matter what their skill set is. You know that she beat her opponent last week in 15 seconds or less, and then went out for yes, a Yes, I knew you would bring that up. That is a dominant performance. What more do you want? Five minutes with Anna Jay, five minutes All right, with well, one, hold that thought, Mike. Hold that thought. Back hold in a moment Brian. with more Observer Live.